The first thing I'd like to do though, because I think there might be some, I had a sense there might be some new people because of this big wave and wanting to understand what it is. So I thought I would spend a moment and just talk quickly about the Schumann resonance itself, because this this is a chart of the Schumann resonance and people might not completely understand what it is. And I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, so this is a graphic that I created to explain what the Schumann resonance is. This information is from NASA. So I got this off of the NASA website. So this is a scientific measurement. It's something that occurs in the Earth's electromagnetic cavity and the EM fields, electromagnetic fields are, in, are excited in the space. Now what they said in this article was that between the surface of the Earth and about 34 miles up is the focus of where these waves occur. Now in the past I've read up to 60 miles but I'm just going to go with 34 because that's what I found on their site uh, yesterday. So here's, here's a picture of the Earth and the artist added the these electric currents around the earth. And I added this beautiful blue <laughs> example of further <laughs> currents in the earth. I, I, I guess I shouldn't use the word currents, they're called resonances. So what is this? According to NASA, the biggest explanation is the number of lightning strikes that are in the atmosphere. Now you may not know this because I didn't know this, but there are about a thousand lightning storms any given moment on the planet. So there is actually a lot of the electrical activity going on on the planet at any one time. These combine with other factors in the atmosphere to create extremely low frequencies. The U.S. Navy calls these ELF waves, extremely low frequency waves, and that's another name actually for the Schumann resonances. These, <clears throat> pardon me, these, these waves are me measured in hertz, and that's what you'll see on the charts on the left side is the number of hertz. So there's a number of frequencies that are called the Schumann resonances. The data that I've referred to, I've seen it referred to as that there are six, seven, and recently on Wikipedia they listed eight. So <laughs> there's a number of these frequencies, and they range between three, four, five, six to 50 to 60 hertz. I'm using that broad range because various articles and sources I've read say different things. So one day if I find a source that nails it, I will let you know. <laughs> so again, according to the article, um, these thousand lightning storms that occur at any given moment collectively account for the measured current flow in the Earth's electromagnetic cavity. So that's NASA's description of, of what this is. Now there's something that I wanted to share with you, and this is this is my um, theory, and that is that I think that there are a few other factors that, that contribute to this. The first is that the human being generates an EM field, and there's 7.7 .7 billion of us on the planet. We generate an electromagnetic field from the heart. That's the strongest EM field in the physical body. The second is that I feel that there could be astro astronomic influences, um, for example, from the solar system, the sun, the movement of the planets, emitting of solar flares, geomagnetic storms in the atmospheres, CMEs, which are coronal mass ejections. So it was really interesting because this article says something very interesting, and that was that as long as the properties of the Earth's electromagnetic cavity remains about the same, these frequencies remain about the same. But it's important to understand that for example, when a CME gets released by the sun and that energy connects with the earth, it does affect our EM fields. <laughs> So I think there's more here than meets the eye. It's fascinating and we'll keep talking about it as I do more research on it.